This is James with Thermal Battery Systems. I'm in beautiful Bozeman, Montana today, and I'm standing in front of a uh, solar array that was installed in the 1970s for uh, space heating a large commercial building. And uh, the problem with this solar array is that it hasn't been functioning since just a couple years after it was installed. It was decommissioned and taken offline. So essentially all of the money that was spent to install it, it hasn't been contributing energy for over 30 years. Now, the reason I bring this up is because people have tried doing solar for space heating for a long time and the challenge is always that the value is hard to identify because there's always a lot of solar energy when you don't need it and none when you do. So while there's a tremendous amount of solar here, uh, they had mechanical issues and also clearly it wasn't providing enough value that we're going to justify overcoming those mechanical issues in order to get this system back online. Now, if a thermal battery system were part of this uh, overall mechanical approach to using solar thermal collectors to space heat a building, we would be doing a lot better and thereby providing a lot more value of the solar collector, and thereby probably justifying uh, keeping them in service and not letting them be decommissioned within three years of their installation. And that's just simply due to the physics of, the situ of how we, we use the solar collector. In, in this case, these solar collectors have to deliver the energy at a high temperature, in other words, a, a temperature direct to the distribution range. So if the building is going to require 120 or 140 degree distribution, then of course that's what these things need to achieve in order to begin putting BTUs into the system. Now if we can accept energy as low as 40 degrees out of these solar collectors, we can gather a lot more of it and thereby get a lot more value out of the collector. Now imagine how much energy that would have been over the past 30 years if these things were able to be actually banking this energy that they're sitting here gathering today and it's not being delivered anywhere. If they had somewhere to be putting that energy, if they had a large thermal mass to sink that energy into and if you had heat pumps that could remove that energy all the way down to freezing and below, well then we'd be dealing with an entirely different dynamic than the one that they were dealing with when this system was first put in and one that clearly did not provide enough value that justified leaving the system running. So when it broke, they let it stay broken and it's been broken ever since. This is James with Thermal Battery Systems. Thanks for watching.